Who is Spartacus? Not much is known about the early life of Spartacus. General assumption is that he was born in Thrace and that his ancestry came from there. It is estimated that he joined the Roman army in his adult life. Later, he was sold as a slave and trained as a gladiator at Eleutis in Capua. In 73 BC, Spartacus fled his slave life and hid near Mount Vesuvius. Soon, he united with other fugitive slaves there. The slave revolt is known as the Third Servile War, the Gladiator War, and the War of Spartacus. Leading the rebel army of fugitive slaves, which was estimated to be around 100,000, Spartacus was able to fend off many Roman attacks by applying the tactic which is now known as guerrilla warfare. In 72 BC, Spartacus and his army moved northwards towards Gaul. After a series of skirmishes with the Roman army there, the rebels returned south again. The encampment they set up in Regium at the end of 72 probably intended to go to Sicily, and from that moment on, the War of Spartacus became a serious problem for the Roman government and became one of the primary concerns of the state. For this reason, the famous politician and commander Marcus Licinius Crassus took charge of the army in the south in order to deal with the rebels. The rebels first managed not to fall into the traps set by Crassus, but later they were chased until Lucania by the Romans and there they were severely defeated. It is thought that Spartacus died in that war and nearly 6,000 rebels who were with him were caught and crucified. Thousands of rebels escaping from the battlefield were killed by the army of General Pompeius, who in fact had joined this war later. However, Pompeius would then portray this victory over the rebels as his own in order to strengthen his power in the political race. Ultimately, this is how the War of Spartacus ended. This struggle under the leadership of Spartacus has been a great source of inspiration for revolutionaries, writers, and politicians for centuries. The German Revolutionary Socialist Party, the Spartacus League, which was founded in 1916 and which carried out an unsuccessful government coup in 1919, is one such example. In addition, with the 1960 movie Spartacus, directed by Stanley Kubrick and in which Kirk Douglas portrays the protagonist, the same titled series that aired in 2010 shows the inspiration of the character Spartacus as a heroic cult throughout history.